Hey, you're watching Gore's videos, and this is part two of my controllers video. And this is this is part two of my response to Tolstoy's video on control issues. So let's get right into it. He forgot the 64 control. And I better move along quick, but what I gotta say is. I hate the analog stick because it's so, I don't know if it's cheaply made or technology was poor or what because look how loose that is, they got so loose, so tired so quickly. D-pad was awesome because look how big it is, the biggest D-pad it's ever been in any controller I think. Um, v, A, C buttons all perfect, L, R, nice, Z button perfect, Hand uh, contours perfectly in your hand. I just wish it didn't have a third handle. I wish the analog stick was closer up here or just closer, you know, further off to one side. Or um, if you could like turn them, it, if you wanted the D pad more or the stick more than D pad, you just turn it and swap this, swap places. Yeah. Well, what happened now? Anyways. Um, Anybody remember this controller? Yeah. Look at this abomination. It's so much thicker than the original. Because they stopped selling these, and they're selling these. What Revan 64 is going out. And my friend, my cousin had sick fallout on his A button get jammed, star button get jammed, uh, and I think the Z button fell out. Yeah. And I was pretty lucky this still worked, but I didn't really play with it that much. And then I also have this 64 control, which I just wrapped up, but it's the same. I think it's from the same people. Because it says Super Bad 64 on it. Let's see, this is from Interact. No, this is from Performance. This is from Interact. So it's the same name, but it's different. I don't know. Maybe it is from the same people, but. They got it. Seems like they got it right this time, but it is from the same people. The D pad is a lot looser. The other one's tight. I don't know. Look, it's pretty tight and it's like going to mess up your thumb. This one, it's loose, tilts nice and easy, has turbo and slow mo. Um, B and A sticks up good. C's buttons could be a bit higher up. These buttons a bit smaller, but oh well, they're nice and click tastic. Z button's nice, but here's the problem. When you went right, it would flick left automatically. So if you're playing um, Dr. Mario, or I don't know, whatever you're playing, you go right, it's going to go left like twice. That's a problem. So I took back my red one, and I got that huge red one. So I used to have one like this that was red. Uh, next I have... Oh, let's show off this. This is the first Pong. You have start, serve, amateur, pro... Uh, amateur average pro uh, manual serve auto serve power on off tennis hockey handball practice and your controller is a little knob I've never seen this anywhere and it works but um, it needs a special hookup for for, spe for TVs because older systems didn't have the RS switch built into the cable no they had to have it two parts and it's, it's pretty good fun um, what else do I have? Oh, yes. GameCube controller. Yes, GameCube controller. I love the GameCube controller. Um, because the uh, C-Stick, it clicks nice. Instead, the Sony controller doesn't click. I don't remember if I made a video with the Sony controller. I hope, maybe I have to come back if I didn't. But, um, because it clicks and you get more precise of where you have to go for the Sony analogs there's all one circle um, a B X Y never confused me um, because when you're we you have to hold more than one button you just tilt your thumb Z is cool you know, all the buttons are good but I wish there's another Z or whatever um, Nintendo is very smart of them to make their own wireless controller Sony and um, Microsoft had to have in tech uh, Mad Cats and I can't remember the other one, but um, you know they had to have third-party develop 
third party people make their wireless controllers. Okay, so we got the GameCube controller. Um, also have Oh yeah. Xbox controller. These are pretty hefty and thick, but uh D-pad, let's see. It's pretty good. It's kind of tight, but it's still kind of loose. I mean, this the D-pad this one on the game controller I hate so much because it's so tight. I don't know, if some of me it could damage my thumb because I've got crappy thumbs. I love the analog stick on that because it doesn't. I don't like clicking on. I kind of like that, but I like how it's smooth on this one. On this, I'd rather have some clicking on the secondary one. Uh, black and white buttons. I like these buttons. They're cool. Uh, memory in there is useless. Nobody uses memory cards. If it was, it should be a sound accessory that you plug into the Xbox. But ooh, didn't think of that. Like if they plugged it into the USB ports, genius. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so here's another another one of my Xbox controllers. It's my brother's. He's probably gonna throw a fit once I show this on camera. But this is kind of loose for some kind of looser, more loose, whatever. But D-pad's a bit looser too, and that's good. Turbo, you can actually adjust the speed of turbo. These buttons. Um, I don't know if I like them more or not. Got cool rubber grips. This is only ten bucks and it's brand new. Um, best part about this controller is underneath you have an invert button. So if it's on invert, flip that switch, and it's not invert, um, flip that switch. If it isn't invert, it makes it not invert. So it just flips flops it. Awesome controller. Best third party controller I've ever played on. And then next is this. Tiny controller for for the Xbox. See, here's comparing the two. Oh damn! Where was it? That one, and then this one. I know it's hard to compare like that, but. Take my word for it. This one, this controller is tiny. It has off one and two speeds for um, vibration, which is useless. I always want my vibration on. See, the sticks stick up pretty high, but that makes up for it because it's so small. And I think it's pretty comfortable, really easy to use, except for in racing games because the trigger doesn't stick out that far, and the B button is right on the edge, so it's not that easy to use the B button. Other than that, it's a good controller. I like it. Nobody else will want it, and so it's just a good one to grab, so you don't have to fight over a good controller. Oh crap! Okay, I gotta hurry. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, Genesis controller. My word is, I like the D-pad because it's very loose and you can get in all directions easy. Because it's you know, nice all direction. Start. I don't understand why they didn't have a select. Um, A B C. I don't like how it's all one row. I'm a super tender person. So, um, I like, don't like, I mean, I don't like how when you're playing a game, you like run, then jump, and then if you're playing, then there's no games on Genesis for Mega Man, but on Mega Man, you're going to charge, jump, and then dash. I don't know. It's just, I've never really played too many games on the Genesis except for like Sonic. Games on my Genesis, I don't even have any games on my Genesis. This is this was we got the song move out, and uh, I don't even have any hookups for my Genesis, so yeah. Then I have oh yeah, Saturn controller, but it doesn't even say Saturn on it, so maybe it's just a better Genesis or Sega Genesis three, A B X Y A B C. Looks pretty good. Never tried it before. And then flip in time. This abomination. Sega Genesis six button arcade stick. You can adjust the speeds of each individual or have each button turbo on or off. Set the speed of the turbo. Start in mode, which I have no idea what mode does. Um, 